Well, guys, it's the next morning. And we still got 45 PSI. That's a great sign. Oh, look at it. I got some beans. They're a foot tall. I got strawberries are doing excellent in here. I just transplanted them from in here. I found. Yeah, but be, be nice. Remember I told you about their legs. Potato, onion, old onion, five years, three years old. Garlic. No, you can't get up there, no. Why don't you let them down? You actually, dude, you should put those somewhere. Onions, golden raspberries. Anyways, all right, guys, so I'm down to my last pressure washer. I bought this thing 2000 psi. Not very big, but I bought this thing seven, eight years ago. Never started it, never. I did put some of this uh, pump saver on it. It's been sitting like that ever since. And actually the hose that was on here is on there now. Or is it? Maybe not. So we're gonna try to fire this up because that one won't hold pressure anymore. My other one doesn't hold pressure anymore because the water is so acidic, salty, hard water here that it wrecks everything. It, I, the, <laughs> it's unbelievable. I had that other pressure washer for years and years and years, had it plugged in full time, 365, never had a problem with it five years where my other house was. But because the water is so salty here by Lake Superior, a matter of three months i had it hooked up to the faucet over there toast that one i used three times and because it sat with that salty and actually i flushed it with some decent water too but the residue or whatever just destroyed it so i wonder a small engine mechanic owned this at one time i got this at an auction for like 20 bucks or something i'm not even gonna pull the plug uh, maybe I'll unscrew there. Bone dry. So, yeah, the carb's probably most likely gummy. But we'll throw some gas in this guy. We'll crack that first. And uh, we'll show you what it's about. And then. And then. And then, and then. Good thing I got all these little tools over here from doing that. Damn, that pissed me off. That was a good pressure washer too. I think it was 3,200 PSI. This little piece of crap's only 2,000. <sighs> 190. The engine's good on both of these. The other one too. 3,000 PSI. Damn it. That one would rip your arms off before too. Well, let me grab my doohickey thingamabob so I can actually get you a decent picture. <laughs> And then once I get that skid steer cleaned up, we're going to go and start building stairs down to the lake for our neighbor. It'll be a fun little project. It's going to be all out of roughs on. Um, so we'll see. Ah, this goddamn thing here. One of these days, one of these days, I'm going to get a decent setup. So this guy here the float bowl oh usually there's a nut at the bottom and it'll cut off everything usually use a wrench on here so you don't mess it up but you know what's the fun of that usually you turn it the right way too to get it off all right guys now oh, what the heck this is oh right in the eyeball too break it's only brake clean though so it should be fine Why did it burn so much? Ow. Get out of my eye, dude. I thought 
I had it turned enough that it wouldn't hit me in the face. I was wrong. Press is up in there. And put it on back. Let's see here. Should we get a bunch of dirt on it? Or did it go? Oh. Oh, 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 now it's fucking done. Broken. I don't see how bad it leaks, because right now, uh, that pressure washer is wasting my time. Uh, it's still some how bad it leaks. Oh, yeah, I don't know if I said that all the way, but I will never put anything other than non ethanol fuel in anything I run besides a truck because you're gonna burn it up quick. And if I know that truck's gonna sit, I will fill it up with premium and then I'll run it till she's about half empty before I park it or whatever, just to get that ethanol the fuck out of there. Worst thing they ever came up with, fucking ethanol. I'm gonna press this little guy, see if we get something going through there. I don't see a shut off anywhere. Fuel shut off. Stop. Go. I don't see no fuel shut off. That's freaking amazing, hey? One pull. There's a first time for everything. That ain't even leaking. Woo! Well, let's take this piece of junk off of here. Okay, hey, that'd be a good bet. When I bought that Jeep that I've been working on slowly, oh yeah, I never checked the oil on it. The dumbest, like, 2,800th dumbest thing I've done didn't check the oil on the fucking motor of a truck that I was buying. Wow. I got it home. It looked like strawberry milkshake in the tranny. And it looked like vanilla milkshake in the oil. Oh, what a dummy. Okay, so let's see. 2,000 PSI is going to be better than 5 or whatever we're getting. Cut the water off on here. Cut the water off on here. Swap her over. It really sucks because this thing's like brand new almost. New. Okay, so I take it this way from here. Nope. No thing in there. Something like that. Oh, how do we get this one off of here? Oh, you know what? No way. I didn't even think to check that. Let me show you something quick. We're going to start this one back up and see if this was the problem. I think we found it. Well, it just was odd to me, you know. I'm gonna have to put an inline filter on there or something. Come on out, you prick. Look at this, guys. I think I found the problem. Look at the junk in there. Huh. You think that would do something about it? <laughs> well, I'll be. Maybe we'll try this one more time just to see. Just to see how it acts. That was a problem. Yeah, I might have to put a filter on this bad boy before I run the pressure washer. It's a good thing there's one on there. Otherwise, you'd probably get in there and keep clogging stuff up. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Well, I mean, we live, we learn, right? 
How am I supposed to know? I'm not a freaking pressure washer technician. I always let this run until I hear no more bubbles. And then, oh, I'll be happy because this thing is 3,000 PSI. So, and then I hold it wide open, turn it on, and then I start. was a clock fucking So that's the reason I got this bent is because with these skid steers and that and actually it's bent because when I'm cleaning inside of tanks and different things it's hard to get a straight wand to do what you want but this one will get away from me and smack you in the head too so that ain't good gas yes I'm glad it's not broke okay so we got her all cleaned up. As you can see, I got shit everywhere. It's a dirty job, but it's a crucial part of owning any piece of heavy equipment. Keeping that son of a bitch clean. I should have sprayed this guy off. But you've seen it start already, so I'm going to set this down. I don't have my doohickey thing on my bob. Let's see what happens.
Oh, but look at this. This is supposed to be one piece right here. <laughs> it ain't. What the hell? And this guy, unless that's supposed to just be a blow back buyer thing, but I don't know what that is, guys. This one's stuck in there. Oh. That would make sense. Son of a bitch. You fucking junk. Maybe I can take the one off the other. I had pressure. But why is that fuck stuck? Hmm. Okay. Well, we're putting this shithole back together till another time. Good motor, but she got problems, bruh. Maybe we could bolt that other one right on. Well, that's not even the issue though. The pump is the issue. Okay. Well, one out of two is 50 50. Oh, it's the story of my life. Yep. Well, that'll be the day. My back really hurting me today. Ugh. Well, if it's not one thing, it's another, right? At least we got one fixed. We'll throw all this shit back in here. I did found this guy, though. And then, ah, we got the machine cleaned up. So we can drive that over and uh we're gonna mill up a bunch of five and a half by five and a half ishes ishes we'll get something useful done today hopefully and i'm happy that it worked out ah. yeah damn it oh I need one of them freaking, what do they call them? Slaves? I need a slave. Can we go back to that? You know, I don't care if it's German or Russian or whatever, but I need one. I saw this working like a white man. You know, I thought white man's was supposed to be privileged or something. Oh, fuck. I miss them days. Miss them all together. Oh, now I got a wet seat because I went and cleaned all this off. Oh, I had to spray down in here though because that goddamn chicken shit in here. Oh, was it wet? Oh, no. It ain't too bad. What's this? Oh. Come on, guys. Skid steer runs. That's all I really care about.
We got some more boards to finish the siding and we got all our uh let's call these five and three eighthers five and three eighthers we got one two three four five of them so our biggest one is probably going to be about five foot if that maybe six so we got plenty here we're going to go run them through the joiner or the planer and uh get ready to install these bad boys can get some stuff for the business oh it's a hell of a time to start a new career path ish so to say still in my field but ah, it's a little different so we're gonna hook this bad boy up and we'll see what we can do with this see if we can pop some circuits Pull some fuses, burn up some equipment. You never know. Possibilities are endless. 